I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube uh, in regards to the Sub-2000 and different upgrades that people have made to this particular gun. Uh, a lot of neat videos. If you type in Sub-2000 accessories, Sub-2000 upgrades, ex you know, add-ons, all that good stuff, then you'll get a lot of different videos. And it's kind of cool going through the videos because you see a lot of what not to do and a lot of cool ideas at the same time. Well, I'm going to throw my two cents into it because I have a Sub-2000 and I actually kind of like these things. They're kind of neat. Uh, this particular one, just a little side plug. I got this from Machine Guns Montana. Uh, MachineGunsMontana.com. Check it out. Give the guy a call if you're interested in kel stuff. The guy has the biggest kel selection I've seen in my area. No lie. I mean, whether it's a Sub-2000 or a more full-size rifle or handguns, the guy's got it. I mean, he's got a bunch of the kel stuff, which I think is kind of cool because typically kel stuff I don't see a lot of, at least in this corner of the United States where I live. So be sure to give him a call, check him out, let him know I sent you. Um, with that said, let's get back to subject at hand here. Uh, the kel Sub-2000 is a folding 16-inch pistol caliber carbine. So when you're looking at it, and it's also a budget-priced carbine, so when you're upgrading this, I think you should keep that in mind. Number one, don't take away the capability to fold it. Number two, keep it streamlined. Number three, keep it at a budget price. Because honestly, if you're going to spend tons of money upgrading it, you could take that money and the money that you spend on this, and then you could possibly get something else. Um, you know, that might fit your needs better versus trying to make this into something it's not. A lot of things I see is I see variable optics on these. I see bipods. I see lasers. I see all kinds of stuff that people throw on them. And, and in the end, do what you want to do. Um, but if you're really trying to keep this rifle effective and well-balanced, I think if you start throwing all kinds of stuff on there, uh, you're going to start taking away from the gun. Uh, the only things that I've done to this one, this is a Gen 2 Sub 2000. The only things I've done to this is, here is BCM grip right here. Pretty cheap. You can find them anywhere. Um, this one has a little bit of an angle to it that I like to put on backwards so it has kind of a reverse angle. feels really good in hand. This is a nightstick light right here. 850 lumen light. This is the model TWM852XL. She's bright. Uh, check out these guys. I really, really like the nightstick lights. Um, really good quality. I put them right on par with the uh, TLR series. But anyway, just a basic light. No cords or anything, just a push button. And I have it mounted on a small piece of Magpul M-Lock polymer rail that I bought for the gun. This right here, because these barrels are threaded and I'm not going to suppress it, I decided to just throw a flash hider on her. This is an A1 style flash hider, but made in a nine millimeter bore. And this fits perfectly on here. Rifle looks good. The flash hider does its job. Not that nine millimeter creates a lot of muzzle flash out of a 16 inch barrel anyway, but uh, I just wanted to do that, especially since I wasn't gonna suppress it. The only thing I don't have on this rifle is a sling. Uh, I haven't figured out exactly what type of sling I want to stick with. So still looking around, kind of figuring that out. So at some point I'll get a sling. The one thing I think people should do if you're trying to upgrade this is look at magazines. Uh, this takes the Glock double stack 9mm magazines. And hey, the best magazines are the Glock, the actual Glock mags, but I get it. They're not the least, most least expensive out there. They're kind of spendy. Um, in the realm of pistol magazines, they can be kind of spendy. They're almost as spendy as SIG magazines in some areas. It's kind of funny. Um, and even HK magazines. And HK is known for having expensive mags. I've seen some extended Glock mags go for almost damn as expensive as HK mags, which I think is ridiculous, but it is what it is. So I've looked online. Uh, there's a lot of crap magazines. There's a lot of mediocre magazines. And then there's good budget magazines. These are mag pulls. These are good budget mags. This is a 17 rounder here. This is a 21 rounder here. And this is a 27 rounder. The 17 rounder is a flush fit on this kel which is kind of cool. 21 rounder just sticks out just a little bit. Still very compact, and if I want more capacity, then I'll go with the 27 rounder right there. So, the Magpul magazines, I think they're a good upgrade for something like this because these three mags, they're very inexpensive. 
I got these three mags for probably about the price of one clock mag. And these things work. Uh, I haven't had any issues. Um, even with the steel case ammo that I've run. Sometimes steel case ammo can really trip up a uh, budget mag. And I've had steel case ammo trip up some Korean mags that I had and whatnot. But it seems to run in these. So that's kind of a cool deal. So anyway, I'm not going to yammer on too much longer. Feel free to check out all the videos that are out there on Caltech Sub 2000. You see a lot of accessory videos on what people did to these things. And some people go really balls to the wall with it. And that's fine. But I look at it as it's a budget gun. I think if you're going to go the route of buying a firearm just to upgrade, I would suggest you get an entry-level AR build. Uh, get, like, for example, go to Palmetto Armory. Get a uh, upper with a lower parts kit, go find an Anderson strip lower, put it together, and you got a gun for less than 400 bucks. And then you can turn around, and if you want to start messing around and doing some stuff with that gun, and then go for it, because the AR-15 is pretty much the gun to customize these days. Uh, it's like Legos for men, and today there's so many accessories out there. The market is saturated. Uh, you'll really find what you're looking for. A gun like this, I think if you just keep it simpler, you'll be happier with a gun uh overall and keep in mind this is just a hundred yard gun so anyway that's enough yammering out of me feel free to leave your comments and opinions and, and all that good stuff make sure to like and subscribe and give uh give machine guns montana a call again go to their website machinegunsmontana.com they got their phone number right there give them a ring let them know i sent you inquire about his caltech stuff the dude's got tons of inventory it's not just the Celtic stuff the dude's got so many toys basically this guy is uh his whole purpose in setting up the store is he wanted the cool guy shit store uh mostly semi-automatic big black scary rifles of all sizes and calibers and denominations and all kinds of good stuff and all the cool guy pistols and and really neat stuff so check them out all right enough yammering out of me stay safe